For too long, many Christians have identified themselves as sinners, struggling and defeated. But what if I told you that the Bible paints a very different picture of who we are in Christ? In this video, we'll unpack the one crucial change of mind that can transform your entire walk with God. We're going to look at the truth of what it means to be a new creation in Christ and how living with the mindset of being the righteousness of God can change your life. Welcome to Revival Missions. My name is Jeremy Fontenot, and I'm so glad that you're with me today. And I want to hit this very hard because I hear so many Christians saying that we are just sinners saved by grace. And in fact, many of us that have grown up in the church, or maybe you're new to this thing and you're, you're hearing some of these things that we're all just sinners saved by grace. And while it's true that we were sinners before, the Bible speaks of a radical transformation that has taken place. But just to be clear, the scripture is, is very clear that in Romans chapter 3, it says in verse 23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of of God. Listen, you're not a sinner because you sinned whenever you were two years old disobeying your mom or dad or whatever. We were sinners, or if you're not born again, you're still a sinner, due to the fact that Adam and Eve, the first people on the planet, they disobeyed God. And when they disobeyed God, it introduced sin into the world. And so sin came into their DNA, and so all of their offspring, which all of the human race come from the first two people that God had created, all of their offspring, sin is in each and every one of our DNA, uh, DNA, DNA, DNA. It's, it's in our DNA. And so we need a savior. We need someone to come and rescue us. And so that's what Jesus did. Jesus was sent by Father God to come and to rescue us, to give us life, and to do something amazing. But I want to talk about this for a moment. The impact of living with a, a wrong uh, mindset. If you continue to live in this mindset that you are just a sinner, saved by grace, well then you are going to operate out of that identity. Think about someone who grew up as, as an orphan. And then you, you wonder why they, they live the way that they, they do, they think the way that they do, because they still view themselves as an orphan. So if, if that's your perspective of, of being a sinner, I'm just a sinner, well, no wonder you're going to continue in sin because you're not seeing yourself the way that God sees you. God sees you in a whole new life. The day that you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, something transpired in your heart. You were given a brand new heart. And I'm telling you, it changes everything. If we will just line up with, with Scripture, with what God clearly lays out in Scripture, all of a sudden we're going to begin to act different because we see ourselves differently. And so perspective is so important. We operate according to how we perceive things, according to how we think. The Bible says that as a man thinks, so is he. So if you're still uh, conducting yourself in a sinful manner, you're, you're doing sinful things, it's because you're not thinking right. You're not thinking in line with who God has created you to be. And so let me give you a very, very beautiful truth. This is a treasure right out of the Word of God. God's Word is a treasure. And when God created the heavens and the earth, He created it with an infinite amount of wisdom. 
when he created the foundations of the earth and, and the galaxies and the, the star, everything. He created it with such wisdom. Likewise, it is wisdom to begin to build your life the way that you think according to God's word. And the Bible says this in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, if anyone is in Christ, which is where everything happens, everything that we need that pertains to life and godliness, all of it is in Christ. And so the Bible says this, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. I, I want you to grab a hold because I feel like so many people, they know this scripture they may claim to believe this scripture, that they are a new, and that, that, that word new, it's, it's, it's brand new. You are a brand new creation. And it says, all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Everything is new. So if, you, if you're a brand new creation in Christ, then how can you claim to be just the sinner saved by grace? It does not make sense. Did God recreate us in this new creation as a sinner? No, that doesn't make sense whatsoever. So this, this scripture is a, a gift from, from above that we, we are brand new creations in Christ Jesus. And in Christ, we're not just sinners trying to be better. We are completely new creations that have been recreated in the image of God's Son. So this isn't some sort of self-improvement. This is, we are born again. So when we were born in this life, we had the DNA of the first Adam who became sinful when he disobeyed God. But when we're born again, this is a spiritual birth. So we take on the DNA of God. We are now children of God. And so we've been recreated in the image of Jesus, the Son of God. So now God's DNA is our DNA. God's history is our DNA. God's identity becomes our identity. So we have a brand new identity in Christ, and it's the fact that we are brand new creations. Now, think about the analogy of a caterpillar that turns into a butterfly. Its, its nature has changed. So you don't see a butterfly crawling around on the ground any longer because there's been a transformation. And that's, that's how it is when we come into our new life in Christ. We are completely transformed. And if we will begin to see ourselves according to how God sees us, then we are going to walk differently. We're not going to want to sin. Why? Because that, that's beneath us. That's beneath who we are. There's so much God-given potential now that we're in Christ, if we could just align our thinking with who and what God says we are. Now, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 21, that for he made him who knew no sin, that's referring to Jesus, Jesus didn't just take on our sins. The Bible says that Jesus became sin. He who knew no sin, Jesus had never sinned whatsoever. He was perfect. So he who knew no sin, this is referring to Jesus, became sin. And of course, God poured out his wrath and punished Jesus for what you and I have done wrong. Now, why did he do this? It states that we might become the righteousness of God. <laughs> That's, that is incredible. We are now the righteousness of God. That's 
When God looks at you, he sees you as righteous, not because of anything that you have done, but because of what Jesus Christ has done. Because of Jesus, because of the finished work of the cross, we are now the righteousness of God. So, so this is how we start out. We're not trying to attain righteousness. We are already righteous because of what Jesus Christ has done for us. So because of Jesus, we are now righteous. We are the righteousness of God. That's who we are in Christ. So that's how God sees you. And the sooner that you begin to see yourself the way that God sees you, the more you're going to begin to act like who you really are in Christ. And so there needs to be a renewing of our mind that takes place. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12 and verse 2, do not conform to the pattern of this world. In other words, don't, don't think and act like the culture. Instead, be transformed. Well, how does that take place? By the renewing of your mind. How does that take place? By meditating on the scriptures. I've been meditating on this fact, what it says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, that we belong to God. I belong to God. To God. My life is not my own. I belong to the Lord. The Lord says, I believe it's in the book of Isaiah, it says, you are mine. And it says in Deuteronomy that we are a special treasure to the Lord. So you, you've got to begin to see yourself that God is madly in love with you. He is head over heels in love with you. He desires to spend time with you. He, 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 he doesn't want you to get into the wheel of religious performance or anything like that, trying to attain uh, his love or anything like that. God loves you. He loves you so, so much. And if you could just receive that, stop seeing yourself as, as a sinner and start seeing you, yourself as a brand new creation, then guess what? The, the Bible says to come before the throne of God boldly. How do we do that if we just see ourselves as sinners with our heads down? When God walked into the garden with Adam and Eve in the cool of the day, that there was no sin in, in the beginning. And Adam would look at God eyeball to eyeball. There was, no, there was no sin, there was no shame, there was no guilt. And so because of that, he could commune with God. And this is where the Lord wants to take you and I. And so transformation takes place by changing the way that we think, that we are no longer sinners. We are a brand new creation recreated in the image of the Son of God. We are now the righteousness of God. So listen, if this message has helped you, share it with others. Subscribe for more videos and be on the lookout as we put out more videos. We love you and we'll see you next time here at Revival Mission.